Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, I ain't been laughing so long. Lord have mercy. Good morning, y'all. Turn this car off. Good morning. Good morning, y'all. Man, it's so early in the morning. Y'all probably sleep. I ain't been laughing so long. I don't even know if my live work. Facebook done changed so many different things. Good morning. I got my little one viewer. Um, good morning, good morning, good morning. Let me see. Good morning, y'all. Could y'all say good morning to me? I ain't been laughing so long. Y'all miss me. Good morning. Good morning, Miss Collins. How you doing? I haven't been live. Oh, my God. This Have I been live this year? Uh, Maybe three months ago, maybe I went live. But listen, that's neither here nor there. I am here. I have arrived. I am so tired. I worked last night. I'm exhausted. But something happened yesterday. Hey, hey, lady. Something happened yesterday that rubbed me all the way wrong. And I want to talk about it. Um, Not that it rubbed. Okay, yeah, it did rub me wrong. Good morning. So, y'all saw I, I had made a post yesterday of my book cover. And I've never wrote a book of poems before. This is this is something new for me, right? Um, so, I'm going to be sharing my emotions towards HIV, right? The book is called HIV Thoughts. So, y'all know I'm real, um, hey, I'm real, like, inspirational and motivational and all that type of stuff um but it, it wasn't always like that for me i was really sad at one point um and i decided well i actually didn't decide this but i started writing these poems and my emotions is all over the place up in these poems it's like urgh, like i'm so angry um in the poems it's really actually really good i really i'm like really enjoying um writing these poems but anyhow yesterday i made a post about the the book right and somebody shared it on a platform which thank you guys so much like i haven't been live and i haven't really been talking much i've been on instagram a lot lately and trying to be on on youtube and i haven't been on facebook as much so i definitely want to thank everybody for all the love and support this far like it has been absolutely amazing um a couple of people share my posts and one lady shared my post and a guy asked the question that he asked was is this book about gay AIDS or straight AIDS? So when I first saw that, I was like, wow, I didn't even know it was such thing as gay AIDS versus, well, gay AIDS and straight AIDS. I, I really didn't know that. That was like a shocker to me. So, hey, good morning. So I asked him the question. And when I asked the question, I wasn't being funny when I asked the question. I really honestly wanted to know like what that meant because I had never heard it before. Um, and he said... I asked him, I said, I said, good afternoon. Good afternoon, King. I said, um, what is the diff what is gay AIDS and what is straight AIDS? And his response was gay sex and straight sex, right? So when I looked at that, I was like, oh, okay. So we put that's hey, good morning. <laughs> I said, oh, okay. So that's how we putting we putting we putting AIDS together now. We putting it together. Um, we, 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 that's how we put, we put A's, we put A's in categories now. Um, and I was like, wow. So he responded back, but he responded back with some jazzy and I wasn't finna entertain, I wasn't finna entertain it. And I just, I just told him peace to his day and I left it at that, but it's still been like on me ever since yesterday. So for me, for me being HIV positive, um, I know to a lot of, a lot of y'all was like shocking, like, oh my God, I can't believe she got HIV. She don't look like she have HIV. My, oh my God. Right. But I really want to be clear about some stuff real early this morning. And I'm going to go, I'm not going to keep y'all not long unless y'all ask me questions because I like to answer my questions, but I'm not going to keep, I'm going to try not to keep y'all long, but listen, I want to paint a picture for y'all. Hey, TT, I want to paint a picture for y'all. And I want this picture to be so clear so that you guys can understand what I'm saying. If you don't understand what I'm saying, and if I'm not being clear enough, please inbox me. I'm not funny at all. You inbox me, I will get around to answering your question. And if I don't know how to answer the question, I will direct you in a way that you can find somebody that will answer the question for you. But listen, 
why is we putting AIDS in AIDS? I don't even know anybody that have AIDS. I know like so many people that's been HIV positive for over 20 years and they have HIV. I, I don't know anyone that have AIDS. I know a few people that was diagnosed with AIDS, but once they took their medication and they became um, undetectable and all those different type of things and their numbers went up, then they became, they, they had HIV. So I don't know anybody that have um, I don't know anybody that have AIDS. Um, I don't know anybody that have um, HIV complications. I don't know anybody that have AIDS complications. I really don't know those kind of people. And I'm really not being funny for real, y'all. I really honestly don't. And it's maybe people that do know those type of people, but I don't. So I come, I speak from a different um, perspective than other people. I don't know those type of people. Um, I honestly, everybody I know that's HIV positive is doing fine physically. We have emotional issues. We don't have physical issues. And I talk to people on a day-to-day -day basis and I just don't, right? But this is the picture that I want to paint for y'all. Hey, this is the picture that I want to paint. Listen, y'all. And y'all share this video too, because this, this is so important. We have to become educated about this because if we don't become educated, this thing is going to continue to, I say, kill us slow. It's going to kill us in silence because we don't really even know what we're fighting if we don't know, right? A lot of people do not get HIV from being gay. Why do they put that together like that? Let's stop putting this together that you, just because you're gay or you are a man is with another man we put gay with that let's stop doing that let's really stop that's what they say let's normalize this let's stop doing that hiv is not a gay thing it's not it's really not not from my perspective um from where i what i come from or what from my knowledge of what what i know now i don't know if i might learn something else moving forward and i might have to come back with another laugh but from what i know hiv is not a gay disease it is not Please, let's stop doing that. And not only that, a lot of us that become HIV positive, we become HIV positive from the person that we have been with forever. This, this It's not what you guys are thinking. And a lot of us is not getting HIV from one night stands, from people that we don't know. HIV is a friendly disease. And I say this so many times, and a lot of people, um, a lot of people, I talk a lot about friendly sex, right? I talk a lot about HIV behavior. And I haven't been doing it lately because for some reason, a lot of times I go live and I offend people. And listen, I do not be trying to offend people when I talk about certain things. But when something is on my heart, I have to speak about it. And that's how, how I how wrapped it today. Um, listen, y'all. HIV is a friendly disease. It's friendly. It's friendly. Having unprotected sex is how you can get hiv point bank period if you are gay or if you are straight if you like women woman on woman man on man whoever who cares how it's being done if you have an unprotected sex you could possibly become hiv positive this is a fact you can possibly become hiv positive if you are having unprotected sex but really listen y'all who and i know it's people that's doing this who is really having unprotected sex with people that they don't know? That they never met in their entire life? They meet them one time and just smash and have unprotected sex? I don't know a lot of people that's doing that. And I know it's people that are doing that, but we don't have... I don't know... I can't say 60 people that I know is just meet some random person and have an unprotected sex with them. I, I, I just can't believe that this happening. But I can tell you 60 people that I know that are married in, in long-term relationships that are having unprotected sex. I can really tell you six people. I can really name six people right now. But I'm not going to name these 60 people because I'm not trying to be funny, right? But I know 60 people that's having unprotected sex. And I'm not against unprotected sex. It feels good. I like it. I still have unprotected sex. Weird, right? But I'm undetectable. I do me. And I do me in a safe way, right? But listen, out of these 60 people that I know that's HIV positive, I know six of them that's cheating on their their husbands and i know my five of them that's cheating on their wives and they've been cheating forever so now they're not using condoms over there 
and they're not using condoms at home. And this is where HIV comes from, having unprotected sex. I didn't say nothing about being gay. This has nothing to do with being gay. You could be gay, you could be straight, whoever, who cares? Why has we put, <laughs> this is what I was thinking, I was driving, right? I'm like, man, we putting AIDS, we putting HIV together like that, like gay versus straight sex, right? We might as well say marry sex versus cheating sex. Same difference. Either way, you're not using condoms. And when you don't use condoms, you set yourself up to become HIV positive. This is really easy. This is this is really not hard at all. And I really that's why I really want y'all to get this because this is not hard at all. You do not have to nobody, and I saying you, but People don't have to become HIV positive. Y'all really don't. Y'all don't have to end up like me. You really honestly don't. Um, unprotected sex is what, is what causes us to become HIV positive. So if you know your status and the person that you are with, you trust them and they have went and got tested and y'all have open open lines of communication and y'all on one accord Y'all can have all the freaky, nasty, dirty, trifling sex y'all want to have because y'all are on one accord about y'all life. But like I said again, HIV is a friendly disease. It is a friendly thing. We are too friendly with people, and being friendly with people causes us to become HIV positive, and then it causes us to die slow. When I say die slow, I don't mean we're going to die. You're going to die because if you become HIV positive, you take your medication, you take care of yourself, you can... Um, become what's called undetectable and you will be fine you'll be fine but there's a lot of people that i counsel on a day-to-day -day basis that are fine they don't have no hiv complications they are undetectable but they have mental issues because of hiv and it kills you slow and honestly do i was dying at one point in my life and praise be to god that i'm not there no more and i can help people um get out of that state of depression that they are in but there's a lot of people out here suffering in silence and they are dying slow every day with the with the reality of i am hiv positive and a lot of times the person that they are in love with and the person that they have been with forever has given it to them so it's it's levels of pain that people are experiencing so I don't like to see stuff like that when somebody say a gay, a gay AIDS and straight AIDS. It really bothers me. It, it bothers me because we putting things in categories and it ain't not to be in a category. It's one thing, point blank, period. If you have unprotected sex with whoever, if it's gay or straight, husband, wife, your long time, your long time dip, your long time boo thing. However you want to put that, if you are having unprotected sex, you are setting yourself up to possibly become HIV positive. That is the end of the story, period, period, period. That's the picture that I wanted to paint for y'all today. I don't want to, I, it's hard for me to say what I don't want to hear because who am I to tell people how to talk? I'm, I'm like, I, I, I don't know, I don't know. Um, I don't, okay, I shouldn't be telling people how to talk. I don't want to hear that though, right? And there's a lot of people that's HIV positive that's sitting back in a, in a cut and they 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 not strong enough to say, I don't want to hear people saying certain stuff. Why is they saying this? Why is they this? And why is they that? Well, I'm going to say it for us. People that's living with HIV do not want... People that's living with HIV is having a hard time within their own life. And then they get on social media and they hear people saying stuff like that. And that bothers that bothers us. Or they, with their friends and their family, and their friends and family don't know that they're positive. And they are saying things that make us feel some type of way. I'm like really sick of this. Like, I'm really, really, really sick of it. But it's going to happen for Polly forever. I'm going to be dead and gone and it's still going to be happening. But that's why I do what I do. And I'm not going to stop doing this until the casket closed. I'm serious, y'all. When my casket closed, they better have, um, <laughs> I have HIV, but HIV don't have me at the top of my casket. They better, they better not play with me. I'm so freaking serious. Listen, we have to become educated, y'all. Not only because of this gay versus straight thing that people were saying, but a lot of people is uneducated about HIV. And if we become educated and learn how to speak I don't know how to do that. My Facebook been acting up. I don't know how to. I be trying to post sometimes. It don't let me post. I be trying to. Um, I try to post sometimes. It don't let me post. I try to share stuff. I don't know. Facebook don't like me no more. That's why I be on Instagram and I be on. Um, I be on YouTube because Facebook is just acting really acting up with me. I don't know what's what's happening. Maybe I have. Um, 
maybe my time here on, on, on Facebook is over. I don't know. But I don't know how to make it share. But when I'm done, maybe I can do that. But I really would appreciate it if you could share it. But a lot of people need to become a lot of people need to become positive. A lot of people need to become educated about HIV. And this is why, y'all. It's so many people that's positive that you have no clue that's positive. You could be you could be sleeping with somebody that's positive and don't know. And until you, I gotta take this call. But until you figure out and become, until you become um, educated about HIV, you're gonna hurt a lot of people's feelings with the way that you speak your language. I have a book called HIV Experience, and I have a um, I have a chapter in the book. It's called Let's Get Educated. It is the proper language, and I'm still learning myself, y'all. I don't even know everything, and I'm HIV positive. I've been positive for 16 years, and I'm still learning how to use the proper language when it comes to HIV. But I'm I call myself I am a um. <laughs> I am a hood advocate, so I speak the way I speak, but I don't mean no disrespect to nobody, but I'm still learning myself. So when I say let's get educated, if you get educated and you learn the proper language to speak, you can help a lot of people without even knowing they're um, positive. But I have to go, y'all. I have to take this call. Um, y'all enjoy y'all day.